So it's Tuesday, it's my CC day, and I figured I would share with you how I am teaching actually while learning Latin. So for those that don't know, this year we decided to do our homeschool through classical conversations. And in doing so, I'm actually the Challenge A director. I'm making a video, hi. Hi. So um, this year we decided to do cha um, Challenge A for the older two kids, they're seventh and eighth grade. If you don't know about CC and the challenge program, the challenge program starts at seventh grade, but if you haven't done it yet, you can start at eighth grade for A and B, and that's their middle school section, and then they have one through four for their high school. And if you started ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth grade, you'd start at one, and then it builds upon. So me teaching or leading challenge A, I am teaching Latin. So I just kind of wanted to share with you my thoughts on Latin, my thoughts on teaching Latin, what's the special tools I get as a director, and to go from there. Okay, so if you're familiar with CC, CC gives you, as their Latin program, Henley Latin. So we are doing Henley Latin year one with the grammar book. So this is what they ask you to buy they have a really cool workspace. We haven't found it to be useful. I bought it, but we found making our own was better. I'm going to show you that. Now, the one thing I want to show you, I have some tabs in here. It's not nearly tabbed. There's people that do a phenomenal job tabbing it so much better. But um, I have a couple things tabbed. But this tab right here is as far as we're going to get this year for Challenge A in Henley. There are my kids. And so what happens then in challenge B the following year, they're gonna go back through this section and then they're gonna move into here. And they actually will take three years to do this book. I think everybody's gonna come up here in just a second. That's so hard to video when I do that. All right, there are some special tools I get as being a director. I get this really cool Facebook group I'm in that's for directors only. They have to check you out, make sure that you are actually a director. And then you get the guide. And the guide just tells you what to do. Oh my goodness, they're so funny. So the guide tells you like what you should be doing when. I went ahead and tabbed. You can't really see them in the light, but I tabbed those out with these little tabs. My main things I tabbed were first, second, I think third to fourth declension. I didn't do fifth. I love these spots right here. This is my master vocabulary for the first group. Sorry for the dog. For this the master vocabulary for a second and a third master. So a lot of times I will do quick vocab lookups there. And then I have when we started adjectives. And then actually tomorrow I introduced verbs. And then this is as far as we're getting in the first semester, and then the rest of it we do in second semester. This book comes bound, and I went ahead and had it spiral bound. When I had it spiral bound, I'm sorry for the dog. He was embarking. Um, when I had it spiral bound, I actually went and had the cover laminated because they use it for three years. They said it tends to break down very quickly. Since I'm directing, this is my copy, and my kids have their own copy, too. So I have the two, and I did that for both of them. So for the most part, this is all you need. And you could do it just with this. It is... So sorry for the dog. It is kind of intense. I have to use a lot of colors. Um, I tend to blue in the exercises we need to go. I highlight yellow for things I'm, I need. They're playing on the road. I mean, the, the kids and my husband, so. Sorry. And now the light's changing. Can you hear that? Oh, they're crazy. And then like, I will green vocabulary. I'm not gonna edit this, because you know, I'm trying to give you like 30 days of videos. And so then I will do green for um, anything that's vocabulary to help me remember it. And then I'll go through there and read this. And this will just kind of lay out the grammar rules. And you'll use this. This actually works for all the Henley books. And it comes out really nice. So like here's, you know, just the way they do the declensions. 
So for the most part, that's what we do. We read it. But I'm finding like copy work is a huge help for us. This is all brand new. What are my thoughts on doing Latin? We actually love it. I didn't think I was going to love it though. I wasn't thinking that this would be something I was really going to just jump in and love. We find now Latin everywhere. And one of the big parts that we found is by doing Latin, we're really learning our grammar so much more. We're understanding the parts of speech. We're understanding how it fits together just by doing Latin. And we're actually now doing sentence diagramming and we understand it very well. And it's been crazy to learn so much so quickly. Now, if you do challenge A and you start with the Latin, it's like drinking from a fire hose. The way the vast amount of information that they are pushing on you is huge. If you have an older child, you're gonna find that they will do really well compared to a younger one. So my eighth grader versus my seventh grader, night and day difference. My eighth grader is a girl. My seventh grader is eighth and seventh grade. I mean, my seventh grade is my son. It's more like there's two years apart, not one year apart in them. She sits up at night and just does this and she writes everything out and she works every problem. We've had to make a lot of adjustments for him. I'm so sorry. There's so much going on back there that's catching me. So one of the really cool things is I found this. I cannot share it with you, but I'm gonna let you look at it and you make your own. So this is something that was um, shared on the Challenge A Director's page, Facebook page, and I was able to print this up and I laminated this and I really, really like it. So we use this a lot and we actually use it as like a bookmark. So when we have conversations, we'll pull this out a lot. So we've had that. What else have we had? We really haven't had a ton of things. We've just literally read and did it. But that might not be enough for you. Um, what has been nice, one of the CC moms have actually gone and made like these note cards with the vocabulary that work really good. I've used these for playing games in CC. One of the other, let me see if I can find it. I have like my little tote here and I and if you're interested I can kind of show you how I teach you know kind of give you a little video of like how I teach and stuff so my son was having a really hard time with this this was just really hard and I know several other children that are having a hard time doing Latin and one of the first things I did was I backed up so like I said, if you did challenge A, it's like drinking from a water hose. You're gonna go and do this first section the first year. But what's really cool is the following year, you do that section in the first semester and then you add on to that section. And then the third year, you go and do all of the beginning of the book again and then you add on to that. So there's repetitiveness. Don't think you're gonna go in and you're gonna learn every vocabulary word. <laughs> every vocabulary word it's just really hard to do that and I think that's a little bit harder and don't think that you're gonna be able to start translating immediately just realize you're gonna take a couple years to do this um, I still don't know where we're gonna stand for CC next year if we're gonna do it if we're not gonna do it but I will tell you we're gonna do Latin next year no matter what we do so I've really been impressed with it that much it's been helping a lot already for translating like did you know Medi the Mediterranean is actually Medi, Middle, Tranian, Earth, Middle, Earth, Sea? Like, that's kind of cool. And then if you go back historically and look back at it, it's like, well, at the time in civilization, what they were they thought it was the middle of the Earth Sea. They just thought there was this one sea in the middle of the Earth. So that's really cool. Something I've made, too, is I've made copy work. So for my son to help build up... I have this little page here and again I pulled that from somewhere so I can't really share it and I give him one side where I filled it out and then he will just use the fine point dry erase markers to to copy it and then I've done the same for um, first declension uh, first declension and these are all declined so let me show you so see I have the words here and then he has to go and essentially copy and then he'll do this every day one time and there's about two pages in here that has really begun setting the help for him you could just do this on a piece of paper i have a big notebook where i would copy 
and I'm using copy work to really just build that knowledge that I really needed. I am again so sorry for the dog. But tiny house living, this is what you have. Um, I did find Latin with Andy and I bought the subscription. I love it. I, I don't know if they do affiliates, but I'm not affiliated with them. And one of the things I love, so right now I'm actually preparing for tomorrow. And one of the things I will do is this is the Latin with Andy. He does videos. So this is a CC kid. If I said that correctly, CC kid. I feel like I'm, my tongue's catching. And these exercise numbers actually correspond to the Henley. They're not the same vocabulary, but it's the same type of exercise. So you can actually go and get a preview. And then for every, he gives you an overview of the unit. And then for every exercise, he gives you examples. So I like to use this with both my kids. And for my son, this is enough to do this together. And then he can join in the conversation during the day. The sun is setting. During the day that we have community and he can have an active conversation without getting in too deep. My daughter, this is just me making sure she does understand what she's doing. And I will do this as a little precursor because here lately I've been really busy. And we're always building up on our Latin. And I will kind of use this as my beginner view. I will look at it and read it. And then I will go back and I'll reference the exercise in here. And I'll kind of briefly read through the section that way. And I will get an understanding. Now, CC shows you in the guide. And you can't get the guide unless you are actually enrolled in CC. But I will get the guide and I will see what exercises they want me to demonstrate. And then I will make sure I understand it through Latin with Andy, which is really nice. It's a very much more relaxed way. I was doing fine learning it this way on its own, but this definitely helps. And there are charts that they have made that help out. And these are just the verbs because that's where we're at right now. So we're doing active and passive verbs, first conjugate. So we're just beginning that way. So this is kind of like all I use. I do have the Latin dictionary, which has been helpful. And we've used that a lot in our other strands for CC where we are um, looking up to find out if there is like a Latin root. So we were doing radio and radiator the other day and we found the, the roots here and a couple other car terms because in science we were talking about cars and pistons. Um, I do have the answer key for this. I just bought a newer book that um, is the grammar through Latin, but I haven't read it yet. I just, I just got it in from Amazon, but that's kind of what I use and it's really nice. I'll show you like that's Latin with Andy and we, you know, I will, we'll just sit around and we will watch it together and we work out the problems, but I'm just learning as we go. And a lot of times there's been a few times that I've shown up and I'm like, if I feel like I didn't get it enough and I have to go through and teach it, um, I'm going to take, for example, say I'm beginning here because this was a lesson that we did. I will begin with introducing the vocabulary anything like related words but a lot of times you'll get um an introduction and i will just kind of hit the rules sometimes i just hit the rules so if we're getting rules being brought in that's what i will stem our conversations on just the rules and that we all understand the rules and we open up our book and then from there we will practice some of the exercises that were asked of us to do so that's what we do we're liking it. Um, I definitely see it as a really good thing to practice to learn. A lot of it just for self-discipline. But yeah, so that's what we're doing. So that's my CC video today. We are at CC today. So I've got this video out the night before as I'm learning my Latin for tomorrow. And I hope you appreciate this. I know there's a lot of questions of like, why would you even bother? But once you kind of get into it, it is a fun thing to learn. And it's connected everywhere. We're always finding Latin connections now that we are aware of Latin. And it's just working out really good. And it's definitely, I thought, I don't know how to speak it. I, I will tell you, that's the one thing I have 
Um, everybody has their own way of speaking it. I know how to read it. And I know what I'm reading when I read it. And that's been really helpful. But, you know, we don't need to speak it at all. And from here, I don't know if my kids will go and do another language. They are going to have to do a language for um, college. But I don't know if they'll do Latin through the virtual school. Or if they will do college language. And either way, if we do it before they get out of high school, it will be free. But we don't start high school till next year. So I hope this helps. I hope this gives you a little peek into like the resources. But it's kind of funny because the parents who have their children in Challenge A with me have the same thing I've got. And I'm the you know, and I'm teaching from it. But there's enough chaos going on. I'm gonna have to go see what they're doing and then get back to getting this stuff ready. So I will talk to you later. Bye.